for this trip, we are trying to be as light as humanly possible. And it's a constant balance of trying to bring back the most beautiful cinematography from the roof of the world ever captured, but also not shooting ourselves in the foot and being so heavy and encumbered with things that will miss the main part of the story. Our main camera kits are all Sony. Every member is gonna have an A7 III and an A7 R3. For this, we tend to use the lighter Sony zooms, like the 24 to 70 F4 and the 16 to 35 F4 and the 70 to 200 F4 because every gram counts. We're shaving weight by cutting toothbrushes in half and pulling tags out of jackets and the lenses are some of the heaviest thing on the mountain. When it comes down to it, if I'm standing on the summit and this is all I have left from the masses of gear, then I'll be all right. Basically, it's the lightest full frame sensor on the market, Sony A7R III, and super versatile 24 to 105. And then this thing is a secret weapon. Um, it's the XLR adapter that Sony makes that just slides right on the hot shoe. You can use a really high-end shotgun mic with it. And then I use the lightest weight Peak Design strap and anchor setup. And then the only other thing that I would bring as a specialty art lens would be this little like a 35-1.4, I tend to shoot portraits on this lens and when things get really low light. We're gonna be climbing with stripped down North Face climbing packs where everything has to fit in there. You're already maxed out because as soon as you put a negative 40 degree sleeping bag and a down suit in a backpack, you're already filled up. All the camera guys are gonna be carrying North Face Cobras. They're only 60 liters because the camera guys have to move a little faster to be able to not miss moments. We're unsure if we'll be able to get the permission to fly drones yet, but it's a huge part of our trip in terms of cinematography because you haven't really seen any high-end drone footage from Everest. People have been bringing them up there, but not with a lot of care or thought. One of the biggest things to consider on expeditions and shoots in general that often gets overlooked is data. Everest is triply challenging because spinning drives fail at altitude, so we've got a lot of tricky little solutions that we've come up with. Everything has to be really fast to dump because we're racing solar power the entire time. Most of our tripods for this mission are all the mint Frodo aluminum tripods because of the extreme cold. I'd rather take carbon fiber because it's a little bit lighter, but it would just snap in the cold temperatures, so aluminum's just the better choice for this. We've got about 60 cards. We'll send one card down the mountain with a Sherpa, and then we know that we still have a backup of that with us, just in case that Sherpa falls off the mountain or something like that. It's a misconception on expeditions that you can shoot all the time. It's just a small percentage of the actual time you're on the mountain that you're physically able 